Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Gina and I make videos about houseplants and houseplant related content. And I make videos every week. And thank you so much for joining me here today. So today's video is gonna be my March favorites. So that's all the plants or planty things that stood out to me during the month of March last month. And this month is just plants. And I think I have four. I think I have four to share with you. So we're gonna take a look at those. So I have a couple of them with me right here. And then another one we have to go to to look at. And then also the fourth one we're gonna go look at together. So, all right, let's get into it. So we have Nora visiting us here and she is chowing down on her cat grass. This is her little pot of cat grass that I put there so that she doesn't, I have a ponytail palm hanging here and she loves to chew on that. So this distracts her from that. So yeah, you might hear some chewing. So anyway, all right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first plant is actually right here next to me and it is this Croniana Splash. Croniana, what is it? Just Croniana Splash. And this one, I, this one was, has probably been on my favorites list before because it's just like, it's like a perpetual favorite plant of mine, but especially right now because it has been blooming like crazy for me. So I have, I guess I'll turn it around this way. All of these peduncles, this one's not even open yet. This one is open and it's just beautiful. I just love those yellowish flowers. There's one down here also, but it's done. The little flowers have been dropping, but so yeah, this is the Croniana Splash and it's just beautiful. I love just these shiny textured leaves on this plant and the lower leaves are even larger than the upper leaves. I just think it's beautiful. I am a big fan of Croniana, Hoya Croniana, like all the different varieties. And some more beautiful leaves and we're losing those little blooms. So yeah, so I'm, I'm like I said, I'm a huge fan of the Croniana, Hoya Croniana plants, the different colors, different varieties. And this is just a favorite. This was a favorite all of March. These blooms, they've put out such a beautiful fragrance and I'm a big fan. So that's the first one. It looks so cute sitting there and it's so long so many long stems on it. It's just so pretty. All right, so this is its permanent location. This is where it's, it's been here for over a year, sitting here for over a year, and it absolutely loves this spot. And it does have a new neighbor now. I brought this one in. This is the um, Hoya Kentiana variegata or Wyettii variegata. I'm not sure which one it is. It might be Wyettii. Um, but it has a little, a little neighbor, which you can't really see that well, but they sit together and they look cute together. All right, so sticking with that Croniana theme, Hoya Croniana, I said I like the Hoya Cronianas. Well, the next one is another Hoya Croniana, and this is the Super Silver. And it's the exact same reason why this one was on my favorites list for the month of March. This is like, this one is blooming like crazy, just like the splash. And there's another 
down here. So I don't think any of these are open yet. Um, looks like there's three peduncles, two, three, I think. Um, but, and then there's one down here also, actually. So this one was the first one to bloom and um, it's gonna be blooming again. So these, these three that we looked at, they're all new, they have not opened yet. So anyway, I just love this plant. And I love these lower leaves, how splashy they are. Compared, like up here, they're just pretty solid silver. But then down here, they're so speckly. I just think they're gorgeous. I just love this plant. And this isn't even my mother plant. This plant was just a little propagation I made from the mother plant. And I think it's just, it's more beautiful than the mother plant. And I have those little amethyst crystals in there and I just think they just look so cute together. So this plant actually sits in my office on a little stand, which I'll show you guys how it looks. And that's about it, I guess. It's just so pretty and so such an easygoing plant. I think that's why I like the Cronianas so much is because they're just such easygoing Hoyas. So yeah. Hoya Croniana, Super Silver. So our next one is this gorgeous Hoya Shepherdii. And the same thing, it's because of these blooms. It has these amazing blooms right now that are just all over this plant, all over this plant. And they're so fragrant and they make, they like smell up the room. And I like it, I actually like it. I'm usually, Sometimes they can be overpowering for me, the floral scent, but this one doesn't bother me. Um, it's just beautiful, and I'll take you in for a closer look. All right, so we might have a little issue with some backlighting, but we'll try to get in. Look at just, look at that. Isn't that just, that is just one of the prettiest blooms, I think, with that just little hint of pink in it. I just, I just love it. And like, here's one that's not open yet. Another one not open yet. Here's a little one that's open. So pretty. There's more. When I'm telling you that they're everywhere, they are everywhere. They are just, look how cute. These blooms, here's some that have, these are spent. Some that aren't even open yet, more spent ones. Just, they're everywhere. Up here, and even up here, they're gonna be opening. So that's Hoya Shepherdii. Just a gorgeous plant and so deserving of being on my March favorites list. All right, so if you have followed me for any length of time, you could probably have guessed that this was gonna be on my March favorites list. This is my fairy garden terrarium and I am just so in love with this terrarium. 
it's just, it makes me so happy. And it should be no surprise that this is, this is probably number one on my March favorites list. I just love it. All the plants are growing like crazy. I mean, you can probably see the difference in the growth, like these Rex begonias, both types exploding with gr with growth. My pinguiculas now have three blooms with another on the way. Um, even my little mystery hitchhiker here, which I was thinking maybe it's a tree. I don't know. I don't know what it is. That's gotten bigger. My fetonias have gotten bigger. And of course, I'm going to bring you in to get a closer look at everything in here. But it's just so amazing. So here's my Rex begonias. Look at that, how beautiful and how big those leaves are. And these, so much glare, but look at, look at those, how beautiful. It's Fetonias, Fetonias back there. And this is the hitchhiker, possible tree, I'm not sure. My pings, three blooms plus a fourth on the way. Oh, and also, so I thought, I told you, I told you guys before about my cricket, that there's a little baby cricket in there. And I was kind of worried because I hadn't seen it in a few days, or actually more than a few days, like probably two weeks. And I finally saw it today. I was watering the moss and he jumped out and I'm going to include some footage of him here so you can get a good look at him. He's really tiny. I think he's a cricket. I'm not sure. Um, some type of cricket because he hops. And yeah, my little cricket friend. And the really cool thing, just wait for it, up here, what? Look at that. It's popping out the top. And it's doing really well. I mean, I was wondering if maybe the leaves were gonna crisp, but they're not, not yet. I have a little bit of saran wrap to keep moisture in there and at the opening in the back. Does a good job. I just love that it's like popping out. I just think it looks so cool. Look at that. I'm gonna let it keep going, see what it does. So my number one on my list of favorites right here, you guys, totally number one. I just can't get enough of it. going to be it for my March favorites. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing those. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I do make videos every week, most of the time, twice a week. And um, I'd love for you to be a part of this community. And let me know in the comments what your favorites of last month were for March, your favorite plants in March. I'd love to hear about it and talk with you about it. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.